let's now understand what happens in case you were you have issued certain shares at premium and you forfeit them so let's say Roger failed to pay the first and final call on his 500 shares of rupees 100 each issued at rupees 120 okay which were forfeited pass journal entry now please note that he failed to pay the first and final call so this was the final call which means what out of this 120 the entire amount has been called right so basically what has happened is that your share capital has been credited by entire hundred your share premium has been credited by 20 rupees okay now we don't know what is the amount of first and final call so let's say this call is for 20 rupees okay so then basically you've got your premium at the time of allotment and allotment as I told you normally the money is paid at the time of allotment which includes premium so as you journalize it since you call for the entire amount we assume that this money have been credited to the share capital account so I will credit the share capital account and the amount will be 500 shares into face value of shares right now what is the money that I have not received from him the money is 20 into 100 right now because the shares were immediately forfeited after the first and final call so I would assume that I would not have transferred this to calls in arrears account so this must have been standing as what first and final call due so I credit to first and final call account 20 into 500 okay so 50,000 goes here 10,000 goes here now there was a share premium of 20 rupees here so what do you do with this now in this particular case what we notice is that this share premium has been received by the company how do we know this because what has not been paid is only the last installment of 20 rupees so which means that the allotment money has been paid and the assumption is that you receive the premium at the time of allotment when you receive the allotment the premium amount at the time of allotment then if the shares are forfeited you do not pass any entry for share premium no entry for share premium received okay so we are done with the entries where does the balance amount goes it goes to the share for feature account now had it been that the premium of 20 was not received let's say you did not receive 10 rupees of the share premium out of this account in that case whatever premium is not received is also is also debited because originally when you would have considered the share premium you would have credited it so you debit the share premium account by 10 into 500 5000 and the credit to the share for feature account will be 45000 right